Welcome to Learning in Limestone. Our goal, success for all. Quay Quay, welcome to Odessa Public School. And today we're gonna to be looking at how teachers and students are bringing Aboriginal culture and history into their classroom. So how exactly are you guys bringing Aboriginal culture into the class? Well, to start with, I've been able to integrate the Getting to Know Turtle Island curriculum very well into all areas of my program in terms of language, music, dance, art, and science. Some of the things that we've done are the single string wampum, which are commitment strings, and those are uh, strings of how they're going to behave in class. Green was for responsibility, white for kindness, red for respect, and blue for honesty. We learned how if we take away, we give back. So what's your favorite part about drumming? I like hearing like the beat and when we're all doing it together. We study the seven grandfather teachings. Some of them are respect, courage, honesty, wisdom, truth. We learned about Norval Morso and his little end artwork. And um, his work inspired us to make our own acrylic paintings. So we focused on bright colors, as you can see, and um, dark lines, and how that made his work stand out. When I bring the drumming and the craft stuff into the classroom, I also incorporate some of the language. In Anishinaabe Moen, we say miigwech, and although it roughly translates to thank you uh, in English, it means much more than that. Because when we say miigwech, it, it comes from our, our heart. It's very heartfelt, it's something that comes deep within us. And so when we say miigwech, it carries more weight than just saying thanks. It has a sincerity to it, and so I want to say miigwech for coming and spending time with us. Thank you. And miigwech to all of you for coming and watch. <laughs>